Greetings in the Lord on this Friday after Easter and the days following that you hear this uh, devotion. I'd like to share some thoughts uh, today about the, the victory and the power of Christ over the things that happen in our lives. And we could say the power of Christ even over coronavirus. Pastor Mike Novotny from Wisconsin shared some thoughts on that, and some of those I would like to share with you uh, together with just leading you in our devotion today. If this whole coronavirus seems like a curse, I hear you. Depending on which headlines you read or listen to, the interpretations, the cancellations, the social isolations are far from over, which means so many of the blessings that we love might go, as we would say, MIA, missing in action for weeks to come. Even for myself, after four weeks of self-quarantine, I, I already miss the church and its, and its worship and its fellowship and the gathering together of Christians. I miss my friends, my family, and my old style of, of life, which just means that I didn't have to be careful about the distance from people and just being able to be free uh, to do the things that we have normally done. Do you feel the same way? But there's a silver lining to this corona cloud. After all, we worship a God who has promised that this virus is underneath the complete control of Jesus. In Ephesians 1, we read about that, verse 22, and will be and must be for the good of God's church. Remember, this virus is underneath the complete control of our Savior. And so that means that even this virus must bow its knee and submit to Christ. Through human, uh, human, humanity's history, this equation has never once been proven wrong. Let me give you some examples Joseph, the Old Testament one, he could not have known the blessings that God would, would bring in his life and that would come in his life after his brother's betrayal and the endless nights that he spent in quarantine in an Egyptian prison. But God was greater than his situation. Neither could Joseph, the New Testament one, have imagined the kingdom coming to earth when Caesar Augustus issued that terribly timed decree to go down to Bethlehem. Now, when Mary's pregnant? But God was greater than the obstacles that Joseph was facing. What about Peter and John and James and, and Mary Magdalene? They saw only tragedy when Judas betrayed, when Pilate washed his hands. And the Romans reached for the nails. But God was working out the greatest plan of all, your salvation. So what might God be doing among us today? How could Christ be using every infection, every fear, every detour in our lives for his plans and his purposes we could say, how might he be doing this math among us with the, the statement, Christ is even greater than Corona. I can envision at least several blessings that God could be giving us along this line of this coronavirus infected road. And so in the days and the devotions coming, I will share along with other thoughts some of these blessings. And I hope to open your eyes wide enough that you might praise him even here, even now. Let us pray. Lord, we celebrate this Easter season by affirming that every day is Easter because of your death on the cross and resurrection from the tomb. It's not just a one season event, but rather the event of faith and life. Keep us celebrating, Lord, even through the Good Fridays that we experience in our lives and this devastating time of the coronavirus. We know, Lord, that in you we live on this side of the resurrection 
and we are glad, as we can also look forward to when you call us home and the other side of that resurrection, which we know is ours through faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a blessed day in the Lord.